Hello. Um, this first episode of Pondering with Dave, I've been a little bit anxious about. I've been a little bit anxious about actually making it. And you could say I've been procrastinating a little bit. I've been potting it off, which is kind of ironic, really, because this episode is about procrastination. So what exactly is procrastination? I think the best way I can describe it is the act of actually putting something on the back burner, putting something off, delaying something until a later date, something that you really want to do. And with me, it was this video and I've been putting it off and putting it off and convincing myself I had other things to do instead of doing this video because with me, it's a fear of failing and not actually producing a good video. Procrastination can also be linked to stress, ADHD, and a low self-confidence. These are all things that can affect procrastination. But I don't think it's always the case, but these things do exist in our everyday life and they can most definitely affect you doing something that you want to do out of fear that you won't do it well. Now, I think procrastination affects me more in this kind of situation where I'm creating a video or if I'm writing a podcast episode. I want to do a good job and the fear of doing a bad job actually affects me in that way and I kind of postpone what I'm doing to maybe research a little bit more even though I've actually got all the research that I need. I just keep finding reasons to put it off. And like I said, this episode that I'm actually doing now, I have postponed many, many times. Even when I had the time to actually sit down and plan this episode and research it, I didn't take that opportunity that I had. When I had a day off work, I didn't take that opportunity. I just did something else with the day. And then when the end of the day came, I felt like I'd wasted it because I hadn't been doing what I really wanted to do. So I was probably feeling a little bit of low self-confidence and a little bit of anxiety about actually starting this video. So instead of actually sitting down and starting this episode like I should and like I should with every other episode that I make, I would actually convince myself that I needed to do something else with my time and maybe start again tomorrow when I'm feeling more in the mood and more prepared. And then the very next day I made that start, I set up my camera, I set up my lights, I had everything ready to go and I decided to lift some weights instead. I totally abandoned all of my planning, I totally abandoned it once again, I just didn't feel like I was ready. And then the next day came and I had ample opportunity to start filming and instead I decided to go for a really long walk instead. So I kind of put it off again, I put it on the back burner. Now you might say these aren't bad things, I was lifting weights, I was going for a walk. Now here's the thing, doing a little bit of exercise and going for a walk isn't a bad thing. I think there is a good type of procrastination and that's what I was actually doing. I was getting some kind of benefit out of it, but good procrastination is still procrastination. But in my opinion, there's also bad procrastination. I would sometimes go and just watch TV and I wasn't really invested in what I was watching. Or maybe the worst, the worst kind of procrastination there is, scrolling. Scrolling through social media is such a time killer. It really is. And I do it. I'm guilty of this. And then afterwards, I feel like I've really just wasted quite a chunk of my time just through scrolling through things that I've really no interest in seeing. Yeah, I would say that this thing is my number one form of procrastination. It's so easy to get sucked into scrolling, to just browsing the internet, looking on Amazon, doing all these things that I kind of enjoy, but when I finish doing it, I feel like I've just wasted a massive chunk of my time. And I should have the willpower to put this down. And that's exactly what I did. And now I'm gonna go through some of the steps that I use to actually to actually pull myself out of this procrastinating mood that I find myself in. Okay, let me just move to the side here so I can put the advice on the screen here, make it look nice and professional. Number one, prepare. Okay, for me and my personal circumstances, when I'm thinking of recording a video, preparation is key. So if I've got a day free the next day and I'm planning to record, I'll set up all of my equipment the night before so that I'm not 
hindered with it in the morning. This way I feel like it takes the grueling task of actually setting up the equipment out of the equation. But here's the funny thing, setting up the equipment isn't actually that hard, it's just another part of the procrastination for me. And I just find it easier if I just get it ready the night before. That's just the way my mind works. That's what works for me. So if it works for you, prepare beforehand. Tip number two, get rid of distractions. Okay, so this is a big one for me. When I'm thinking about starting a project, I get rid of all distractions. Number one, like I said before, the mobile phone. I actually have a box in the other room that I put all my distractions into. So the mobile phone would go in there. The only reason it's here at the moment is because I'm just using it as an example. But yeah, the mobile phone will go into the box. The um, kids will go into the box. The dog will go into the box. All distractions go into the box. I kind of try and film when there's nobody in. Like now, there's nobody in the house. So I'm free and I don't feel any stress with other noises coming from other rooms. I can just relax and I can just sit here and talk. Tip number three is just make a start. Throw yourself into whatever you want to do. And I think the best way to do this is by using the 10 minute rule. And you'll find a lot of advice on this on procrastination websites, on all your various YouTube videos out there. They say just give yourself 10 minutes a day to focus purely on what you want to do. Just 10 minutes. And then when those 10 minutes are done, you can go on to do something else for 10 minutes if you wish. Me, myself, I like to have the 15 minute rule where I sit down and I just work for 15 minutes and I might focus on one particular topic in the episode. And then when I've got to the end of that 15 minutes, nine times out of 10, I kind of want to carry on and keep going because I'm now in the flow. But if you don't, if you just want to spend that 15 minutes or that 10 minutes, that's absolutely fine because you've made a start and you've made progress. But I guarantee, that once you get going, you probably feel like you just want to keep going. I find that when I start writing and that 15 minutes is up, I just want to carry on. I just want to keep going because I'm actually enjoying it. And that's all because I made a start. And I know it sounds really redundant and really silly to just say, just make a start when you're procrastinating, but it really is a great piece of advice to just throw yourself into it and just... Just take that 10 minute rule, that 15 minute rule, and just see how far you get and whether you want to go any further afterwards. So I was actually in the middle of procrastinating when I decided to just throw myself into this 15 minute rule. And you know what? I started writing a script. I got so far, the 15 minutes was up, and I decided to just keep going because I was in the flow and I was enjoying it. And I actually found that when that half an hour was up, I felt like I'd done enough for that day. I'd done enough research, I'd done enough script writing, I closed the laptop, I went to make a brew, and then I thought to myself, I'm going to apply that rule to another project that I had in mind, and I came back, opened the laptop, and I started the 15 minute rule for another project where I was writing a movie review for my other podcast, and I had a ball doing it. So I was doing two different subjects back to back. I found that the change in subjects actually stopped me from getting bored and stale on what I was doing and that was a real benefit as well. The 15 minute rule you can take to one particular subject and then use it on something completely different afterwards. And you actually feel really good afterwards because you've completed quite a chunk of work on two separate projects. So it makes you feel like you've actually got a lot done. And if you repeat this the next day, you know, you just keep building on it and building on it and it's a really, really good feeling. And my fourth and final tip is reward yourself. Give yourself a treat. You've done something good. You've accomplished something. Give yourself a treat. If you teach an old dog a new trick, you give that dog a treat. That's probably not the best way to describe what I'm trying to say, but yeah, just treat yourself. You've done well. Go and have a piece of cake. Go and watch your favorite TV program. You've done the work. Take your dog out of the procrastination box and take them for a walk. They deserve it. They've been in that box for quite some time. Just, just treat yourself. You've done well. You've sat down. You've done the work, you've made a start, and even though you may not have completed all of it today, you can go back to it tomorrow and treat yourself again. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you very soon.